The Tiant UCE9000T is the most technologically advanced water ionizer available today, but it's also one of the easiest to use. Every basic and advanced option is accessible right from the touchscreen control panel on the faucet. For day-to-day -day use, all of your primary presets are always displayed right on the control panel. To get any level of water, Alkaline just touch the icon one. on the control panel. The screen will change and you'll get a voice alert, both letting you know which level of water you're producing. To stop the water, Suspension just touch the control panel supply. again. You can see that there are three alkaline, three acidic presets on the control panel, along with presets for H2O and Turbo. If you need water for drinking with a meal or for taking prescription medication, you'll select the H2O Purify. icon. Clean water Just like comes with out. the alkaline and acidic presets, the screen on the control panel changes and you have an audio alert both to confirm the type of water the unit is producing. At the H2O setting, water is going through the filtration system, but no ionization is taking place. You're just getting clean water suitable for drinking anytime. Again, to stop the water production, just touch the icon again. The turbo setting turbo produces mode. the strongest possible alkaline and acidic settings. You'll notice that the 9000T automatically slows the flow rate to ensure maximum ionization for the strongest possible water. Alkaline water will always come from the top spout and acidic water will always come from the bottom spout with both audio and visual alerts to let you know the level of water you're producing. One of the things that makes the Tiant UCE 9000T unique is a secondary control option for day-to-day -day use. It's called the jog dial and it's located at the top of the faucet. You can see as I turn the dial, the control panel highlights the pH level being selected. The edge of the dial also lights up with the color that corresponds to the pH level selected. Once you've selected the pH level you want, just lightly press the jog dial to start producing water at that level. Let's go through the advanced indicators first. These are the smaller icons at the very top and bottom of the control panel screen. At the bottom, you'll see the remaining life for both filters inside the unit. This will always display, so you'll always know how much life you've got left in the filters, giving you plenty of time to have replacement filters on hand. At the top of the screen, you have several advanced indicators. This first one allows you to access the advanced settings of the unit. This is your voice indicator. This allows you to manually run a cleaning cycle. And this icon is for the Eco Mode, the 9000T's power saving option and you've also got a time display on the control panel as well. Let's go through how each of these work. To start, you'll enter the advanced settings mode by touching the top bar of the control panel here. You can see that all of the extra feature icons are now available. We're going to start with Eco Mode. Eco Mode is the unit's power saving option. When the Eco Mode icon displays, like you see here, the power saving mode is active. That means that after the unit has not been used for several minutes, it will go into a sleep mode and the control panel will go dark. This stops the unit from using power when it's not in use. You can wake it up at any time by either touching the control panel or by pressing the jog dial at the top of the faucet. The control panel immediately lights back up and is ready to use with all of your customized settings still saved. You can turn the Eco Mode off by touching the Eco icon like this. The bar through the Eco Mode icon confirms that Eco Mode has been turned off and the unit will stay on all of the time. You can switch the Eco Mode back on the same way. Now let's take a look at how the manual cleaning cycle works. Your 9000T has an automated cleaning cycle that will run based on the amount of time since your last use and the levels at which you're using it. But if you're in a hard water area, it's a good idea to run an extra cleaning cycle once a day or once every other day. You can do this through the advanced settings bar with just a couple of touches on the control panel. We'll start by touching the top control bar on the display. Now our cleaning icon is available, so we just touch it. It's and the cleaning cycle runs for 15 seconds and shuts itself off and returns to the standby mode. You've got a couple of options when it comes to voice alerts. 
When you first get your water ionizer, the voice alerts are helpful reminders. Over time, as you get more familiar with using the unit, you may decide that you don't want to hear the voice alerts every time you use the unit. To turn off the voice alerts, just go back to the Advanced menu by touching the top bar on the display again, and then touch the voice icon, the one that looks like a speaker. When the voice alerts are off, you'll still hear the alarm sounds reminding you when the main spout is producing water that isn't safe for drinking, but when you're using the main alkaline settings, you'll just have the display and colored lights on the jog dial confirming the pH level of the water you're producing. You can turn the voice alerts back on at any time the same way you turn them off. No other water ionizer on the market today makes customizing presets this easy. First, we're going to go back into the advanced menu. This icon here, this is what lets us customize the presets or change the volume level. The control panel changed to the setup menu. You can see where we have options to adjust the alkaline and acidic levels, the volume, and even reset the time. Just touch the feature that you want to adjust. We'll start with the volume. All I have to do is touch plus or minus on the screen, and you see the volume level goes up or down. Once I've got the volume where I want it, I can get back to the previous menu by touching the Return or Go Back icon at the top. Now let's take a look at how we adjust the amount of power used at each of the presets. Depending on your source water, you may need more or less power to produce alkaline and acidic water at the levels you'll use most often. Adjusting each of the alkaline and acidic presets is as easy as raising or lowering the volume. To make any level stronger, all I have to do is touch that level and then arrow up or down. You see how the percentage changes each time I touch the arrow? These are micro adjustments, so it's a good idea to adjust up or down by at least 10% when you're making your first adjustments. And when I've finished making all of the adjustments I want, I can go back to the main display like this. You can see, both the day-to-day -day operation and advanced features on the 9000T are easy to use. Just a couple of things you need to keep in mind. It's a good idea to test the water at any of the presets you've adjusted to make sure you're producing the pH levels you want. Now you're ready to customize your Tiant UCE 9000T so that it performs at the levels you want with the custom features you want to use.